All right, speed session again here. And one of the things after we've done usually the bravado is the slow bravado. Sometimes we do the slow bravado first, but usually we'll do one bravado, then we come back for the slow bravado to kind of slowly stretch. And it's, it's a lot of the things that you do in the bravado, building differences, there's, there's a lot less of them, but we do them slow and we hold them for a little bit longer. Not like yoga, but similar to yoga. So the first one is just going to be the knee to chest. Um, the knee to chest is a lot like the high knee. You're literally just going to, I'll show you this way, you're just going to reach up and pull that knee into your chest and then you kind of lean in and then we take that step. So again, like knee comes to your chest and then you lean in and then you take your step. That's the knee to chest, like the high knee. The next one is going to be, um, I, I call it a tiny dancer. It's like a dancer pose in yoga and it's, um, it's going to be like your quad stretch. Also, we throw in a bit of um, balance in there too, so that we can get the hip flexor as well. So what it's going to be is, this is a bit of a balance exercise, and I'm on a wrestling mat, so it's going to be even harder, but um, I'll do my best. So I'm going to grab my ankle right here, and I pull my hip, um, before I pull my hip to the ground, I make sure the heel is touching my glute, um, and then I get the knee down. The knee's facing the ground like we talked about before with the uh, butt kick. And then I'm going to pull this back, and I'm going until I touch the ground, okay? Now the next one is after I've done that, I'm going to lean forward and then raise my hand up. And then I just keep on stretching, okay? So that's called Tiny Dancer, and it's meant to stretch out your quad, your hip flexors, and then <clears throat> your lat here too. So that's a lot like the butt kick. Um, it's a little bit like a couple of the other ones, but that's mostly what it's like. The next one's going to be um, our uh, drum major. Our drum major turns into what we call a baby cradle. So the drum major, remember that was this one. And so we're just going to grab it here and pull it up. And the idea is you don't want to pull the knee up as much as the ankle. So you really want to try to work on that ankle getting up. It's going to look like half pigeon. So that's an important one. Then we take um, the, uh, the external rotation one that we're doing with the African dance out here on the side, like you can see my leg. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into that kind of that forward bend as well. So I go right here, nice and slow, until I get to the ground. Now once I get to the ground, I'm gonna hold it there for a few seconds. <clears throat> That's the most important ones that I'm going to do. The only other ones that I'm going to do after that, um, I'll usually do uh, a walking crescent lunge and a walking um, prisoner lunge with a rotation typically. So crescent lunge walking, I'm just going to take a step out here. I take a big step, I drop down, my hands come over my head, and I lean back a little bit. Now, you can go one arm at a time if you want to on those. It's more like a psoas stretch. Um, two hands is a little bit easier because then it's supported. The next one is that prisoner lunge with a rotation. Um, and I usually do these going backwards. So I'll start here, I'll show you that at an angle. Start here, and I take a step back, and then I rotate over that knee that is forward, right? So I'm stepping back on my left foot, I rotate towards the right knee, and then I'll keep going backwards. Um, there's a couple other ones that we usually do in there, but I'm going to omit them now because if you have any wrist issues going on, you wouldn't be able to do the other ones. So I'm going to put that in a separate one. So that's a slow bravado, and it's really, really helpful for a stretch, especially if it's a cold morning and you're trying to get some training done and you're up at camp, you're at altitude, there's variable, you know, different conditions that it's great in, and it slows you're breathing down. But then for some people, especially if they're out of shape or their flexibility is kind of in question, it might get your breathing raised up. Like right now, this morning, one of my hip flexors is really tight. So I could definitely feel it in the stuff that I was doing. Anyways, that's a slow bravado.